Today we're going to talk about the new Outlook on the web client. This is the client for all your email, calendaring, and all the different things you can do in Office 365. There's been a recent update and some of these new features are pretty cool. So let's start walking through them. So we have over here an inbox. This happens to be mine. And they have added this new little thumbtack here. It's called PIN. It allows you to pin an email so it doesn't get lost in the clutter of your inbox. So it moves it to the top, changes the color. You can do it for multiple emails. So I can click and add emails up here and they'll keep them at the top. Once I unpin them or delete them, obviously they'll go away. It's, it's a pretty cool feature. Another thing that they added was Sweep. Sweep is a way to keep your inbox clutter free. I know that you're using clutter to get rid of those emails that you just don't want to see, but these are emails that you might want to see from a person and then get rid of them in a certain amount of time. So down here, always delete messages older than 10 days from this person. That way it will free up your, your inbox. You won't have as much email in there. You can keep the last message and delete all the rest of them. So this way you'll have one message from that person. You can delete all the messages and any future messages from this person. So if it's a person annoying you uh, that you know you don't want to talk to, you don't want to hear from anymore, um, you can do that. So you can see it's a pretty easy way to keep your inbox from, uh, from moving around. So the other thing is archive. Brand new uh, down here. If you haven't um, set up archiving, when you go to archive something, so if I go in here and let's say this, this voicemail I want to archive, it's a quick click. If you click on that, it will say set up archiving. You just say yes. It's a very simple task to do. Um, you could see that they really improved seeing that first line of your email inside your inbox here and really made a, a good job at uh, giving you a good view of your email on the right hand side. So some pretty cool stuff. It also has an undo button up here. So if for some reason I didn't want to archive what I just did, I can undo it. It will come back into the inbox and I just basically undid uh, that what I did with that voicemail as you can see. So some pretty cool features in our inbox. Let's see what else they brought over here in calendar. Quick way to get the calendar is go to the waffle, hit calendar, and you come over here. So this is my calendar. There are some, you know, you can obviously do the, the categorizing of these very simply by just putting down here a different color if you want, and it will highlight those. But that's that's been there for a while. They do have some new things, like for instance, the ability to send out email reminders. So to do that, if you go in here and create a test uh, calendar event, which I'll do here, um, and I'll click here for more details, you can see that in here I can now invite a person. Let's just, oh, and you notice this is something new. If you click on that, it will show your frequent contacts right away. These are people that you email all the time. Uh, if they're not there, obviously, if, if you start uh, just typing in here, you can pick a person to set up a, a uh, meeting with. You can use the scheduling assistant here. Make sure that he's or she is free at that time, which they are. So you just click OK. We're in good shape. Uh, we can go down here and give a reminder to us, but we can also add an email reminder. This is something brand new. A day before you can go an hour before, 15 minutes before, and it will send out a quick little email. Let's say 15 minutes. Remember our meeting. And it will actually send an email to that person just in case uh, they're not in the office to get that reminder, get it on their telephone, on their telephone or whatever. All you do is hit save and you're ready to go. Perfect way to set this up. Obviously, you can um, send, discard, you can attach something to this, set up a Skype meeting. But this new charm is brand new. If you want to categorize these by charms, let's say that it's an award ceremony and I want to do that. Uh, I don't want to hit send because I don't want to send him a, a, um, an email here. So I'm just going to discard this. 
and I'll show you to set up a charm like over here you can see I put a little uh, medical box here but if I want to go here right click on it go to charm I can set up a real nice charm let's say that I have to drive to this account so I want to make sure I'm there early I can put a little car next to it kind of cool stuff one of the last features that they added was the ability for you to add birthday calendars and holiday calendars right here to this thing so if you want to for instance add a holiday calendar you go over here you can scroll down to US click save and it will add all the US holidays to your calendar so for instance we know that Labor Day is coming up and there should be Labor Day in here if I click on my US calendars which should be the Monday following this I'm sorry it should be right here and you can see Labor Day is now on my US calendar so real simple very easy to add uh, you can do that with your birthday calendars if you want to add birthdays for people um, you can just add them to this very simply very easy to do these are all the new features in Outlook on the web